Hey everybody, Dan Rubino here, Windows Central, and I'm making the video I've dreaded most. It is Pokemon Go for Windows 10 Mobile. I'm only kidding, of course, but this is an app made by ST Apps, a company that is doing an open source project to bring Pokemon Go, so it's called Pogo right now. Not an official client, kind of rough beta stage, but you can see I actually have a Pokemon near me and I'm going to tap it. It almost seems like it kind of cheats, so you don't actually throw the ball like in the actual game, you just sort of tap it. And we'll see, it's going to throw it. And it actually grabs you the Pokemon each and every time on the first try, which is almost a bit of cheating, but whatever. Um, so you can see here, we got all the uh, Pokedex entries, and so we'll hit OK. It's going to grab my GPS position. Game so far doesn't do a lot of stuff. It does, of course, show your stats, what level you are. I just leveled up, which was kind of nice. Uh, here are some Pokemon nearby, although there is a delay sometimes with them showing up. It's kind of hit or miss, and their location sometimes could be a little different. You just saw the Pokestops just disappeared, and now they're back again. If we tap one here, we'll bring it up, and you can see old Marlboro Post Office, and we're going to tap here, and we'll spin it. And, of course, now we should be able to get some free stuff. So there we go. We've got some Pokeballs. Um, hit OK. Uh, there are no gems yet available. You can't see lures, and um, when you tap the Pokeball down here, you don't get all the accessories and shop and all the other benefits. Uh, tapping your profile also doesn't do anything yet. So fairly limited right now, but you can see stops in the area. Uh, if you try to spin it, it'll say out of range. So you don't see your range on the map itself yet. So there's a lot left to be done, but this is an open source project, meaning anybody can contribute to it and hopefully improve the code. You can even run this on PC if you wanted to, since it is a universal Windows platform. The performance isn't too bad. There are some quirks with it. Uh, sometimes it crashes and you have to log out again. But uh, it's a nice start, that's for sure, considering the status right now. But there you go. Head to Windows Central for more information, including on how to install it, how to contribute to the project, and to learn more about it. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.